What is up guys? Today we're going to show you some more different dish soap techniques. Woo! A lot of you guys ask, hey, does it have to be neons? Hey, does you have to? Does you have to? Does you have to use black? Uh, no, absolutely not. And I got these three cups here. You remember this one from the last video. If you didn't see that, go check it out. Super easy ombre fade cheat. And it turned out gorgeous. Until you see what I turned this into, it's going to be super sweet. These two here, uh, let me show you how I did these real quick. So my idea is that I'm going to take these two guys right here. And, ah, uh, crap, my tape stuck together. Uh, separate you two, so you're not even married. I'm going to take these guys here, spray paint it and mist it around, and give the illusion of a deep, foresty, camo-y background. It, it should work. Let's pay attention. All right, so you see that I got a little speckly, cool backgroundy texture. I didn't want black. I didn't want like super dark. So I wanted like a little mixture of stuff. It's got some speckling. I just thought that would be cool for our first layer. The second layer I'm going to do is going to be brown. And as you can see, these are satin because that's all I got. And we're going to see how well that works. This one right here is going to be a camo. On next week's video, I'll show you what that is. Be waiting for that i know you guys gave me some grief comments like oh no i can't believe you making us wait till next week so guess what i'm gonna do it again uh haha -ha. hey i gotta get you guys to come back somehow huh it's not like i could be funny and entertaining or nothing to keep you watching let's get started so we're gonna start off with the brown here put it down we got shooken up shaking shaking not stirred this guy easily accessible and let's start with numero uno. All you gotta do, same as last time, drizzle dizzle the soap isle. It is really super complicated, said no one ever. But look, I'm not gonna go too crazy, but I do want a good bit of that dark to show through. And that's gonna be stripy looking. I realize that. I'm gonna put some going different ways because I don't want a tiger stripe. So, just play with it and you can clearly see the soap and you can see what it looks like. Put that down when you're happy. Grab your yellow spray can. Don't get it saturated. Just do it from a good distance back. You're not looking for full coverage. It's an illusion, people. Get the bottom. I mean, you could do it a little heavier if you want. I'm not going too heavy because it is satin. I want it to dry almost as quickly as I can walk to rinse this off. Now we're going to go ahead and do our second color. So I'm going to start off by doing it. This type of zigzaggy. We'll work our way around, go the whole doodad that way. And another question a lot of you asked that I'm not going to be able to answer is, can you use anything other than Dawn dish soap? And I'm thinking, if it has a good consistency, I don't see why not. Okay. So I'm just doing some more drizzle dizzles all right and i got this color as the next one and let's go with that i've already shaken it up it was spraying cray cray i haven't decided if i'm going to do like one more to green like a hunter green or an emerald green i can still see through it so i'm gonna go over one more time get the bottom There, that's good enough. See there, that's beautiful. It's like a green tiger or something. But I just keep spinning while I'm walking. And by the time I walk to go wash it off, it's ready. I'm gonna do another layer with the gloss emerald green. And I don't like the way that this one sprays as well as the rust-oleums, but you know, hey, use what you got. So let's drizzle dizzle the soap pizzle. And you see, I got some going this way. So guess what? I'm going to go back the opposite way. That's my technique or my thought process. I got, got some bubbles in there. It should be fine. So I'm doing some swirls because I don't want a tiger stripey look per se. 
And I think I'm not going to go. You got to let the air out of this thing when you're doing it. I think I'm going to be good with that. Let's take. Sorry, I am making you dizzy. And spray ya. Hold my hand back. I sprayed my hand. Weirdo. Spray and turn. You don't want it dripping. I mean, if it does, it doesn't matter. It's not that big of a deal. So you see in my first round, got it covered. I can still see through. That's all you need to do. And if you can still see through it, it's still going to have a rad look. So don't worry about it. Get the bottom. I think that's good. I'm not going to go too heavy because it is gloss. It takes longer to dry. I'm going to sit here and roll it for a second. And then by the time I hit the stop button, I will be washing this off. Okay. I'm not going to show you how it looks yet. <laughs> so let's go with the next one because it looks killer. And drizzle, dizzle, the soap pizzle. Like I said, just make some patterns. Who cares? If it globs, it's fine. Don't worry about it. Just do something cool. Soapy drizzle on the bottom. I like some loop-de-loops. And I'm going kind of heavy with the soap because I'm doing several layers. So I want a lot of the first layer to show through. You see how fast I'm doing this. This is not sped up. This is just me spraying and rolling. That's why it's so handy to have these handles the way I made them. If you don't know how I made these handles, then check out this video right here. And it'll show you how I make my turners and my handles and everything. So I'm happy with this. We're going to go wash it off. All right, for this one, I'm going to change it up a little bit than the last one. I did the light green. Uh, few little water drops on here still just dry those off it's dry enough to touch you're ready to go on to the next step another question i had is can you use gloss Whoop. focus we're about to find out never used gloss before but my thing my technique that i'm going to do is i'm going to hold it back and spray not full heavy coverage that's your ticket because you're not really looking for a full saturation of coverage if you see this you can see it's kind of splotchy, but the edges are super crisp. And that's all you're looking for. And you covered up the previous layer. So win-win. There you go. Drizzle with this one. I've already shaken up my emerald green. And it is a different brand. It's a uh, Krylon. Those of you keeping track of that kind of thing. I know a lot of people use different brands and they react crazy to each other. So if you'll notice, I'm getting some heavy spots because camo has a different type of pattern than like the Lisa Frank one I did in the other video or the tiger stripey one. Get a little shake for good measure. Hold it back. This mug comes out like a rocket. And it is not shook up good because you see it's not covering that great. Real time here. I'm not cutting. I'm just going to go over again as it rolls. Try to get that previous layer covered up to the best of your ability without going cray cray on the saturation. And then fog it. I think that's good. That seems good to me. You see, I got a lot of open layers. That's kind of what I wanted with this one because I'm going to do the light green after this so let's go wash it off maybe it'll work hopefully it works you hear it dripping let's keep spinning so you don't want to drip all right i will show you guys this because i know you want to know the gloss green worked perfectly it's just all in the technique uh so i do wish i put more of the gloss green i mean the yeah gloss emerald green because I really like the way that green looks. I, I should have put more. Uh, maybe we'll do more. Like I said, the gloss takes longer to dry. I wiped it off as you can see here. Uh, it wasn't fully dry. I went to wipe it. But 
we're going to do another layer and we're going to do the light green on top of it do some soapy going this way this is a lot of layers just showing you you can do crazy amount of things and i didn't show you guys this but i went ahead and did the green one more time just because i wanted a little more coverage with the green and i thought that would be really cool so we're going to do the soap this way opposite of the green and then we're going to do this color green right here kind of army green looking so let's get with that just do some just some cool stuff going that way turn it while you're doing it that way you don't get no crazy uh, just straight tiger striping looking but it, you've got so many layers it's not going to look anything like tiger stripe anyway so you're going to be okay don't forget the bottom just a little x across the bottom is all you need get a little test spray This is an awesome color. It's going to look really good. Look at that coverage. That's that. This is satin. Crazy. So just get it covered good. And the thing about, oh, I went a little heavy there. Get the bottom. The thing about this is you want to move kind of quick before your soap has a chance to move around on you. Get it covered good enough. Don't get scared of it. Just let it rip. Quill it as you want to go wash it off and then that's it. So this one turned out really cool. I'll show you those in just a minute. But uh, the cool, I'll show you right now. Let's just go ahead. The cool thing about this is I went the opposite way. But really, if I would have went the same way, I think it might would have had a more camo-y look. And if you wanted to, I mean, this is unlimited. You could go back and do some more of the dark green there. So it's really limitless, but don't get too picky with it. Just have fun. Now we're going to do this tumbler here. I had to epoxy this and I'll show you why I'm right here. You'll notice the alcohol inks are bleeding through the white. And then I'm trying to figure out what's wrong. I said, was it the empty can I was using because I was at the bottom or what? But then I realized... And the reason I'm showing you guys this is so we can all learn. I have never spray painted over alcohol inks. And apparently, they don't like each other. So you see, spraying over alcohol ink seems to be a no-go. So I epoxy it, I've sanded it down, and now we're going to put on some sweet leafy stencils and... Show you about that right here. Now I printed these leaf templates out here and the file is available on my website, but I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys because a lot of you ask, hey, what size did you print them out? So the file is one complete thing. I made it as big as I could by a 12 inch mat. So this is 11 and a half point five. Click make it. And you can fit two of these on one mat. Boom. Two of them fit completely on one mat perfectly. So now that we have our stencil on, and the reason I'm doing this like this is because a lot of you guys ask the question, can I do it over glitter? Yes. Can I do it over stencils? Can you use stencils? Of course. Listen, if you got an idea, just try it and see if it works. I got uh, some leaves going around. I sanded a little more aggressively on the bottom went through. I'm not worried about that. And I got a little something planned for this area right here. So my plan is to kind of do some vertically, I don't know, and then kind of leave this space without any soap. And I'm going to spray it with a matte white because you don't have to use black. If you like the way this turns out, stay tuned to the end and you might can win it for free. All right, here we go. Drizzle dizzle, my tumblizzle. Get it off, do a little. I'm just doing a little bit. I want to go crazy. Get the bottom here a little bit. I think that'd be cool. Just a little bit, just a hint, because you're going to see most of it under the uh, leaves. So, all right, let's roll with it. That matte white is insanely awesome. Ultra matte. Get the bottom. There we go. Let's check the coverage. We'll do a little bit more. Do 
Check the bottom. That's awesome. I got a little blue right there. That's pretty cool though. So I'm good with that. Let's go wash it off. All right, that turned out fantastic. A little fun fact is that white dries slower than black. First Ford Model T's were all painted black because black dries so fast compared to all the other colors. But uh, I went a little heavy on the top. You can see where it wasn't exactly dry. Started rinsing off. But, and this is the stencil, so you don't worry about that. It's really still sticky because that's the stencil. See my finger? So you could have waited a few more seconds on that, maybe a minute, two minutes. But I don't like to wait too long because I want the uh, soap not to run crazy. So this pattern turned out really cool. We're going to let this, I like to turn it and let it dry. I don't know why. You probably don't have to. All right, it's fully dry and we're ready to take the stencils off. But before that, I'm going to show you a little trick. Uh, you see how this goes over here and it would kind of blend into this. I'm just going to take my airbrush some black alcohol ink and shadow a little subtle shadow around it just so there's some difference between this and this. That turned out fantastic. Look at that shading, it's just enough. It's beautiful. If you notice, a little subtle with the soap, and that's really what I was going for, man. It's just so cool, so clean, so simple. And then you notice here, I left this space blank. I got a little soap there. I didn't really want to, but whatever. And I'm gonna use these acrylic markers to do a little fall, y'all, over here. I think that'll look really cool. And I'm going to outline each leaf because I think that'll look pretty, too. It's gold. You can't have too much gold. If you want to enter their Thanksgiving giveaway, uh, the link is in the description. If you don't win one day, you're automatically entered to get the next day. So it's Win, 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 win. How many is 12? Okay, let's go. And stay tuned to the end to find out what this beauty looks like and how you can win it for free. Woo. soap over all kinds of stuff. We did like five layers here. We put it over glitter. We use different colors. We use satin, we even use gloss and put it over, oh my gosh, white stencils. I hope you were taking notes. Oh my gosh. But now it's the end of the video and I'm going to tell you how you can win this right here. This T beautiful tumbler right here. If this video gets to 25,000 views in the first week, which I've done, I know you guys can do that. Come on. I'm going to give this beauty away. It's just got so much going on. And you know, I handed this and these markers, uh, there's link available for them in the description. Oh, I just, maybe I won't get to 25 and I can keep it. I mean, you know, it wouldn't hurt my feelings. It would because I want you guys to have it, because I make these things and these videos for you guys. So to enter, all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed. Come on, that's a no brainer right there. Leave a comment saying something nice. Give this video a huge thumbs up and I will pick a random commenter. So 
be paying attention because if the winner doesn't respond, I'll have to go to the next one. You don't want to be a winner or loser, do you? If you haven't watched the first soap video, I really recommend you check that out right here. And God bless. Thank <laughs> you.